Hey guys, you ever tried in fly fishing? And today we're here to show you a cool new product from Flyman Fishco. We have one of their new tying kits. This one specifically is their sculpin bunny. So the first thing you'll notice is this paper insert, and in there is some really great instructions with some very easy to follow photos. And of course, you're gonna have a video to go along with it here. So what it comes with is the rabbit strips. These are barred rabbit strips, the regular ones. And there's enough in here, this black, brown, and olive. There's enough in here to tie six flies. And then of course, you're gonna get your cross-cut rabbit strips in the same color. The next thing it comes with is all the sculpin helmets that you'll need. And again, you have in black, olive, and brown. So you get three different choices of color there. And then we have our eyes, and these are fish skull living eyes, and this color is ice. So enough eyes there for all six of your flies. And then you get a great quality Kona hook. Now we're gonna show you how these are tied. Okay, so in the vise today, I have her, our supplied uh, Kona hook here. And I'm just gonna start this, I'm gonna tie this one in black. So I'm gonna use um, something like UTC 140 or Uni. 6 odd, 8 odd, you know, Vivas, whatever you use for medium-sized streamers that are black would be a good choice here. So we're just going to get a thread base and get it all the way back and then break that off. The next thing we're going to do is take a measurement here. The cool thing is there's a measurement built in on our packaging here so you know exactly how long the overall length of the fly is going to be. Basically, if you take that measurement, it's two hook lengths. So what I'm going to do is just measure my hook shank here, and that's gonna be our measurement. So I'm just gonna take this right in the middle, poke that through, and I'll feed that through there. And then I'll replace this back in the vise. I think I trapped some. Alrighty. So this is gonna ride hook point up, so be aware of that. So once I have this where I need it here, what I'm gonna do is wet my fingers um, split this in the middle here, and we're going to tie this off. So we get a nice clean tie-off point here. Snake our thread through here. A couple of tight wraps, and then some wraps in front here. Okay, now that we have our tail tied in, we're just going to tie in our cross-cut rabbit strip. Um, I've pulled off some of the hair here, so I get a cleaner tie-in point. I'm just going to make sure that I tie that down fully. This can be messy because it's going to be covered up. We just want to make sure it's on there securely. At this point, um, Flyman recommends putting some super glue on the shank. Um, I don't think it's necessary, but if you do, please go ahead and do it. So I'm just gonna take this, I'm just gonna wrap this crosscut rabbit strip in nice tight, uh, pretty much touching turns up the shank here. And you'll see this is gonna start to build our body. So we got a nice wide sculpin body here. Just pack those in there, but make sure when you do this, that all your hair is laying back. This is going to give a ton of movement here, too. This is pretty much one of the easier sculpins I've tied. Once you get it going, you could probably tie all six of these in the kit in one session. Just sit down and bang out a couple of them. Be good to go. Okie doke. So I brought that pretty much up behind my eye here. I'm just going to split this off so I get a clean tie-off point, pull the hair up, pull the hair down, sneak my thread in there, and I should be good. And then take some scissors and get rid of that. The nice thing is this whole area right behind the hook um, can have a little bit of bulk because we're going to actually need some bulk for the sculpted helmet to seat properly. So we're going to rotate this around. Um, what I like to do here is take my bodkin, um, kind of split these hairs. Not that it's completely necessary, I just think it's a little cleaner. Pull it down, and then we're going to pull our tail over here and create a nice little mohawk. Again, split the hair. Pull it tight, and then tie it off. And then I'll come in here with my scissors and take that out again. Hey guys, just wanted to let you know that these videos are fully funded by your purchases at our shop. If you find this video helpful and want to keep them coming, consider making your next purchase at tridentflyfishing.com. Okay, so I'm just going to fix this here real quick. 
start my thread, take both those tags out. I'm just gonna cover everything up, make sure everything's secure. And I have a good base for my head to go on here, my sculpin helmet. And then I'm just gonna throw a quick whip finish in here. Again, this is all gonna get covered up. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on here. So I'm gonna grab my sculpin helmet. And how you want this sculpin helmet oriented so that the eyes are up obviously here. So your hook point is gonna be up and your hook eye is gonna be pointing up as well. So we've got it halfway on there and just kind of, and it'll get on there. So that looks about right. It looks like we filled it out there. Um, so I'm gonna pull this off, add a little bit of glue. Um, you could use super glue. Um, I have some Loon Hardhead and this works just as well. It just takes a little longer to dry. So just gonna get some on there, cover up my thread wraps and make this head a tiny bit more secure. And that is good. Cover that up so you don't knock it over. All right, let's put our head back on. And that fit right on there. So what I like to do here, um, I don't know if they mention it in the directions or not, but I'm just gonna start my thread again in front of this eye. I'm gonna build up a tiny little thread dam. I don't know if it's necessary, but I like it for added security. Um, just to make sure that head is not gonna go anywhere. So again, that's pretty good there. We'll just whip finish. Get rid of that. And then we're gonna put the eyes on here. So what I like to do for eyes is I like to just stick them in that little pocket. Where's my bodkin? All right. So these are very small little eyes, so you may find that your fingers are too fat, but you can just use your bodkin. Oh man, okay. There we go. And then what I'm gonna do to add durability to this whole thing here, um, instead of gluing my eyes on, I'm gonna use Solar Res Bone Dry and do a tiny light, light coating over my eyes. So you could barely see it, but, and then on my thread wraps as well. It's just gonna add just enough durability there so those eyes are not gonna go anywhere. Just gonna hit this with my light, finish it up. Guys, make sure you hit subscribe, hit the like button, uh, hit the bell notification so you're notified of all of our future fly tying videos, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.